Hi, how you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm Sebastian Sarasota the Police Department. You're on audio and video recording. The reason for the stop, you were observed going 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. No, See no, you later. I have, right? Yes, sir, I do. See, she does, and I don't think she cares. And never has my t-shirt been so appropriate to the video I'm making. Please subscribe. So, for those of you who don't know, this guy is congressional candidate Martin Hyde, and he's been under scrutiny following his comments to a law enforcement officer, as he implied that she was hurting her career by issuing him a ticket. You know who I am, right? I hate this guy already. Entitlement is a very ugly characteristic. What's your name? Officer Baskin, it's going to be on the citation. Can I see your insurance registration and your license, please? Sir, can I have your paperwork? Seven years, sir. Can I see your registration, please? You're not going to give me your registration, sir. I'm asking you if you're going to produce me with your registration. You want to have it on you? Go call. Okay, sir, are you refusing to produce your registration? I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. Okay, How are you sir. doing this? Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Where's your video? Alright. Hang tight. How exactly is this officer making a legitimate traffic stop a career decision? Do the police get promoted based on how much of a douche canoe the person they've stopped is? Because if they do, Officer Julia Baskin here is going to make Chief of Police really quickly. <laughs> Call a supervisor. Call a supervisor? Wowza. So this guy's a Karen as well as a massive dickhead. Spoke to your boss. Okay. You want your paperwork? Is it your Russian immigrant status that makes you treat people like this? Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. What the hell has the country this officer was born in got to do with anything that's going on here? Let's summarize what we know so far. This guy's a bit of a cat. <laughs> Sorry, not sure what happened there, but in all seriousness, we have entitlement, attempted abuse of his position, and a smidge of xenophobia. Now, Hyde ran for Sarasota City Commission in 2019, an effort that was complicated by allegations of racism he adamantly denied, obviously. Hyde allegedly confronted a teenage Puerto Rican tennis player and told him to cut the grass. And when he was challenged about it, his reply was, yes, yeah, so what? I wonder where he gets his intolerance from. Oh, you from you Sir, you're going to be issued a citation. You, have to say. Wait for the you can wait for the supervisor, but I'm going to go through what I need to go through. No, I have no interest in it. Right, you are going to be issued a citation. Well, you've been already issued a citation for that. For what? For failing to produce your registration. Alright, sir, you gonna, you're going right to be here. issued a citation 57 and a 40 for speeding, a fine right is 256, here. information in the back, right you're going to have an option to it's plead guilty, an option to plead not guilty, and an option to take a safe driver's course. If you qualify for the course, it will reduce your fine, and it will reduce your points. If you decide to go ahead and do that, just make sure you do it prior to submission of you know payment. What? You know what he said about you? <laughs> You want to hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. Yeah. You know what he said about okay. you? If you he fail to complete, you like this. okay. And he's going to have you again. Well, I mean, what would a standard or what should have been a very standard traffic stop be without threats? I bet the people of Sarasota are really excited about the possibility of this clown getting into power. And that's fine. It's not fine. What you said is fine. Because it's fine. This lady is a police officer. You were speeding and texting at the same time. So it's fine for her, not so much for you, I would guess. Sir? I'm a law-abiding citizen, and you're being bloody okay. rude to me. If you decide to go ahead and do the court, just make sure you do a prior to submission of payment, as they do you you require a certificate of completion. If you sign up for it, you must complete it. Otherwise, they will go ahead and suspend your license. You are going to be issued a citation for texting and driving. Ooh. 
an iPhone, eh? We're all incredibly impressed. Oh, wait, I see what you're doing now. Look at my phone case. I am very important. Well, even important people can get into trouble. And the more you stamp your feet like a petulant child, the more you're going to get into. And as much as I wish that was true, it probably isn't. He most likely knows someone who knows someone who will be able to get him out of his tickets. But the one thing he can't get out of is how this public interaction has become, well, public. Remember, kids, the internet is forever. Okay. You are going to be issued a citation for taking for texting and driving. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You're going to have an option to plead guilty and an option to plead not guilty. You are going to be issued a citation for failure to provide your registration upon request. Your fine is 116. Information in the back. You're going to be guilty or not guilty. Green paper. Green lying. paper tells you you have 30 days to replay. Why are you lying? You have 30 Why days to reply. You Your payment options are on the green question. form. Question. Why phone, are you lying? Phone number on the bottom when in case you have any questions. Come. When my supervisor comes, I'll wait for him with you if you like me to. Your citation is already You have something. I will wait. wait. I will wait, but I will wait on my car. Here you go. Give me, you have the bad now I know I'm not commenting as often as I usually do in my videos, but this officer's got it covered. She is completely ignoring his threats and just getting on with the job in hand. And did you notice even more threats? You know, you're lying, you're gonna lose your job. Is she though? Speeding 57 and a 40, texting while driving and failure to produce his registration because he told me I could look it up. And he's gonna have my job. Are you still waiting for a supervisor or are you leaving? Reggie, I'm just coming down. Okay. Very good. By the way, it's a friend of mine. I'm sorry? I'm aware of that okay. I'm on my way over there. You know Pat Robinson, right? Yes, I do, sir. Why are you doing this? Because I have a job to do, sir. Oh, my Nobody's above the law. No one's above the law. You have to have some degree of respect for law abiding. That degree of respect started the moment I walked up to your car, sir. No. You knew exactly what you were doing and you made a mistake. If that is your feeling, you are more than welcome to fight the citations in court. I'll fight the citations. Okay. I'll fight your employment. Okay. You're more than... Yeah. You know, you're an influential person. You are... Very. You can go ahead and do that. Yes, I can. Okay. Why don't you just say you're sorry? Because I did nothing wrong, sir. I was doing my job. But I am going to ask you either to sit, sit in your car or step on the sidewalk yeah. because I don't want either one of us getting hit. Okay. Now this video was sent to me by one of you, so if you don't like it, it's your fault. <laughs> Maybe you knew that videos like this really wind me up. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's people that abuse their power. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, or what position you hold. No one person is better than another. We are all equal. You're not better than me, and I'm not better than you. Unless, of course, you're a flat earther, then I'm way better than you. <laughs> And asking this offer to apologize is so far from what should be happening here, it blows my mind. You were speeding, mate, and texting while driving. And somehow you think the officer should be apologizing to you? And what good is dropping names going to do you? Do you really think that if you drop enough names, or the right name, that this is suddenly all going to go away? Sorry, bub, that's just not how it works. Even for congressional candidates. Sir, I have nothing more to say to you, sir. You requested my supervisor, you can have the conversation with them now. Sarge Frangioni is on his way. Okay. Speeding 57 and a 40. Uh, texting while driving, failing to produce his registration when I asked. He told me I could look it up. Okay. You know who he is. Yes. Right? Yeah, you've got to identify him. Yes. Okay. So you're just going to stay by to cite him, or is that what you. He already got cited. Oh, he has already a yeah. citation, so he's, he's just... From the moment I woke up. So he's just waiting for... He's waiting for supervisor, and I guess he spoke to Frangioni, so Frangioni is on his way. Okay. Bobby just pulled up. Okay. Hello, Mr. Hyde? I guess Frangi... You, start, you talked to Sergeant Frangioni by the phone? I did, yeah. Okay, he's on his way. She just she requested another unit, so that's why another unit. Give someone a certificate uh, ticket for no registration when they've got the registration. 
So you didn't indirectly refuse to show her? You know, when you said she could just look it up? She's trying to make her spurs, but it's a big mistake. Well, this one is an expired one, but... Well, that doesn't make it. It'll take two yeah. seconds. Yeah. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. And I just want you to witness and know that, it, yeah, the registration was right there and she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up, she said, the, the first, look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got a video of what you said. Right? Yeah. What she said was, I, 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 I don't I have it. She immediately said, I write your citation. She went right back, she never said anything. She went straight back. She, I denied the citation. She straight back and wrote the citation. I've lived here for 25 years. I've Sergeant, represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. I was talking to my sergeant. Sergeant, if you don't mind if we could step over off the road onto the side. Yeah, oh, just a, a second, officer. officer. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, Mr. Hyde, like I said, no, you, no. you know... I've represented sergeant. you guys yes, sir. in the union discussions. My yeah. son is a cop. I'm friends yeah. with the, yes, sir. everybody in the police department. This is the first time mm. anybody has been disrespectful to me. And for what reason? Maybe because you're a bit of a dick? The second she walked up to your car, you asked her if she knew who you were. She did, and because she didn't let you off scot-free, you're now claiming that she was disrespectful and rude. The fact that you've made a number of threats and xenophobic comments based on her immigration status seems to have been completely forgotten about. But like I said, anything you say on the internet is forever, so it's pointless whining like a little baby now, pal. You broke the law. Deal with it. And the consequences. And talking of which, was he carrying an expired registration document? Now obviously I don't know this for certain, but I thought carrying an expired registration document was illegal. Now I know he could have an unexpired one at home, maybe he was just too lazy to carry those really heavy pieces of paper out to his car and place them in the glove compartment. And if it is expired, shouldn't he be getting 60 days in jail and a $500 fine? The takeaway is that even a seemingly small traffic matter can escalate into a crime if you consistently disregard it, and even more so if you behave like a dick. I could care less. If they didn't write me a ticket, I could care less. I just pay the bloody thing. You don't think I got the money? Mm -hmm. It's the manner and the nature of it. Well, look at you, Mr. Moneybags. If that's how you feel, just shut the hell up and be on your way, instead of wasting multiple police officers' times. And by the way, I would just like to take this opportunity to apologize to you all. This guy is British, but you've had him for the last 25 years, so you can keep him. Outrageous. Yeah. yeah. Why would you do that? Why? I mean, yeah. of all the people to do it to. Yeah, I understand, sir. And, you know, I, I set you, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been with the, the uh, negotiations with you, and I understand where you're, you're coming from. I don't ask for special treatment, but I don't expect to get treated like a punk. But that's exactly what you were asking for when you asked the officer if she knew who you were. Stay in your car. I just want to you can go to the station. Yep, go to the station. Hey, Martin. Yeah, I have to leave it on. Alright, <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. She lied about the cell phone thing. Okay. She lied about the, I don't know, the speed. I could care less. You can give me the ticket all day long. I could care less about that. And then I gave her the registration. And she, before, it was just, oh, your registration? It's in the car there somewhere. She goes off, she writes me a ticket, she brings me back a citation. I said, there it is. Okay. But she still gives me it. Okay. All right. All right. She's being fun. And the thing is, I appreciate that. I back you guys left, right, and center. I understand that. I do. I do. I trust me, I do and know I that. I don't expect better treatment, but I don't expect worse treatment. If that's how you treat people, that's unacceptable. Okay. I understand. I understand your frustration. And I can get the video and I can play it to I, I'm the I'm going. I, I understand yeah. that, but you know, the thing is, I don't take kind of She knew exactly, because I said to her, I said, yeah, right away, I said, yeah, is she right? Yeah, I know. Straight away, right in the tickets. Why? Well, she's a traffic officer, yeah, that's what we do. But I understand. Yeah, I understand that's what she do. Yeah. Yeah. It's not what you do and you know it. 
Listen, awesome. she has a job to do. I'm not. Listen, I, I'm nope, gonna look way. at the. I'm gonna look at the video. I, I understand your concerns. I'm gonna look at the video. I notified everybody in the chain of command right now. That's what I was doing. That's why I was not coming here. I thought you were gonna meet me at the station, but it's not a big deal. I'll. I'm gonna. She's going right now to dock her video. Right now, she's going to dock the video. And if there's problems, you will be the first to know. Well, I know there's problems. The difference is, I'll do something about it. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I'm going to take your complaint, is what I'm doing. That's the first step. She lied. She lied. Which translates to, she caught me and I don't like it. And you couldn't care less about speeding? Okay, what do you like? Being a douche canoe? Because whether you like it or not, you are doing an incredible job at it. And I'm not going to lie, but when Sergeant Fragioni here told her to stay in her car, I thought he was going to take this guy's side. But it's clear now, you definitely weren't expecting special treatment. You were demanding it. And you still are. How can you write a ticket for no registration when you've got the registration? I mean, as if I get a hundred and fifty thousand dollar car, I've lived here for 25 years and I don't register a car. Why do that? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Well, you tell me what the point is. It, it's just a state statute that she enforces. She's not the only traffic officer that writes. Would you give a ticket for that? I, I really don't leave the office. <laughs> I understand right. what you're saying. I understand you no, have a video I, on there, uh, but the fact is nobody in their right mind would give a ticket for that to me. No. I, I understand what you're saying, and you producing it, she probably should have taken that ticket away, but I'm going to find out what exactly occurred. Because and that's she had a beer in her bonnet because she thought she was on a big power trip. Guess what? She's been there seven years. She ain't going to make eight. Ugh, could this guy be any less likable? She ain't gonna make eight. What a scumbag. And she's on a power trip? Yeah, okay, Mr. Do You Know Who I Am? What an annoying ass swipe. Now, just before you go, I want to let you all know about the new Tidy Clothing Company merch drop. For the last few weeks, this guy's been working on rebuilding his merch store and I've switched to a new provider and the reason I did that is because I was getting lots of people saying that they wanted to order merchandise but the shipping was a pain in the ass. And by a pain in the ass I mean there were certain countries that they wouldn't ship to. Sorry to those countries. But I think I fixed it now. In fact I'm sure I have. So take a look at creaky.shop which is linked below. Creaky.shop is the URL and grab yourself something snazzy. Maybe a douche canoe t-shirt or a NASA tidy t-shirt like the one I wore in Tuesday's video or maybe something else or maybe something from the love you buy collection no I'm not going yet that's one of the collections it doesn't matter and the first 50 people to spend $50 or more will get free shipping to anywhere in the world so thank you all for your continued support thank you for watching this video <sighs> love you bye all right all right watch this next but before you do make sure you subscribe by order of the creaky blinder.